Hi, my name is Troy Jacobson. I'm the creator of the Spinner Vols Indoor Cycling Series. We've been using Kinetic Trainers now for almost a decade because they are the highest quality trainers on the market. Today we're going to go over the various products in the Kinetic lineup as well as assembly and installation of your bike onto your new Kinetic Trainer. Kinetic offers four different trainers in their lineup. The Cyclone, the Road Machine, the Pro Trainer, and the Rock and Roll Trainer. Each trainer is suited to a particular kind of cyclist, whether they're a competitive athlete training for competition or a recreational cyclist training for fitness. In addition to their trainers, Kinetic also offers other accessories, including their trainer mats, which are fantastic for various reasons. They protect your flooring, they protect the trainer themselves, and they also help level out the trainer when you're riding. In addition, they also sell probably the best riser ring on the market. The riser ring enables you to ride your bike, whatever it is, whether it's a smaller wheel bike or a road bike, on any trainer and levels out the ride so that you have a very comfortable and stable ride. Allow me to give you a little bit more information on each trainer in the lineup. The Cyclone Trainer operates on a wind resistance and gives you that traditional wind trainer feel so many cyclists enjoy. The next step up is our Road Machine, and the Road Machine offers the Fluid Resistance Unit by Kirk, and that's one of the best fluid resistance, if not the best fluid resistance unit on the market, hands down. It offers a six and a quarter pound flywheel and is really well suited to recreational and even competitive cyclists. The next step up is the Pro, and the Pro Kinetic, that really takes it to the next level. The Pro Kinetic, you can go from either a six and a quarter pound flywheel all the way up to an 18 pound flywheel, which is unprecedented and gives you the absolute most realistic ride you can possibly imagine on a stationary trainer. And then if you really want to take it to the next level, you graduate to the rock and roll trainer. This trainer is so much like riding on the road, you won't even believe it. You'll think you're actually out on the road. The bike actually moves and you need to utilize your core muscles and strengthen your core muscles just to be able to ride this trainer properly. It also is less fatiguing than the other trainers because the bike actually moves underneath of you. And again, it's so realistic, it's absolutely incredible. And you can get that with the 18-pound flywheel as well. In addition, you can get a special riser ring which actually moves, really adding to the quality of the rock and roll ride. So overall, Kinetic has a trainer just suited to you. Kinetic makes the highest quality fluid resistance units on the market, and that's why we've used their trainers in our Spinnervals DVDs now for almost a decade. Let me tell you a little bit about the fluid resistance unit. Here I have a cutaway, and you can see there's two separate chambers. In this chamber, we have a medical-based silicone fluid, as well as six rare earth magnets. And in this particular chamber, we have the drive train as well as the six rare earth magnets. If you put these together, you see that there's no drive train that goes through and could possibly create leaking in the future. In fact, there is a ceramic barrier that goes here, and you can see that there's no way this will leak. And in fact, Kinetic offers a lifetime warranty on their trainer to the original owner, which is a really nice feature. Additional features include this two and a quarter inch diameter hollow roller, which just improves the quality of the ride. As well as that, you have 80 cooling fins, 80 cooling fins to help dissipate the heat, and that's a really important safety factor. There are also different flywheels, and this is a six and a quarter pound flywheel, but if you want an even more road-like ride, you can attach to the Pro model this 12 pound flywheel, which gives you an even more realistic coast down. So overall, Kinetic offers some of the very best features and the highest quality for any trainer on the market. Assembly of your Kirk Kinetic Trainer is simple and easy. First thing you need to do is to take the frame and all the parts out of the box and place them on a flat surface. Next, unfold your trainer frame. The next step is to take your resistance unit and using the carriage bolt, attach it to the trainer frame. Use the dome nut and attach the dome nut to the end of the carriage bolt. Next, take your L bolt and place the spring over the L bolt. Place the L bolt onto the frame 
and then slide it through the resistance unit. Next, take the knob and tighten it gently against the resistance unit. Take a wrench and tighten up the dome bolt to make sure it's snug. Your trainer is ready for your bike to be installed. Your kinetic trainer comes with a round headed skewer. It also comes with a slotted cone cup. We recommend that you use the slotted cone cup if you do not have a skewer that accommodates the rounded cone cup. To install the slotted cone cup, simply remove the round cone cup with a five millimeter Allen key and replace it with the slotted cone cup. Installing your bike to your kinetic trainer is quick and easy. First, make sure that your kinetic trainer is properly assembled and placed on a flat, sturdy surface. Place your rear axle between the cone cups and tighten up the quick release side. Lower the quick release lever and tighten the knob until the rear axle is securely fastened within the trainer. The next step is to tighten the knob on the resistance unit so that it gently touches the rear tire. Then, turn the knob four half turns so that the roller is tight up against the tire. Check to make sure that the tire doesn't slide. Tighten the lock nut on the non-drive side. Finally, shake the bike a little bit or try to move it around in the trainer to make sure it doesn't move and you're ready to ride. Take the frame and all the parts out of the box and place them on a flat surface. Next, unfold your trainer frame. The next step is to take your resistance unit and using the carriage bolt, attach it to the trainer frame. Use the dome nut and attach the dome nut to the end of the carriage bolt. Next, take your L bolt and place the spring over the L bolt. Place the L bolt onto the frame and then slide it through the resistance unit. Next, take the knob and tighten it gently against the resistance unit. The next step for your pro trainer is to install your 12 pound flywheel. Simply take your 12 pound flywheel and place it over top of the six and a quarter pound flywheel. Next, take the washer and the knob and tighten it counterclockwise until there's a firm fit. Take a wrench and tighten up the dome bolt to make sure it's snug. Your trainer is ready for your bike to be installed. Installing your bike to your Kinetic Pro trainer is simple and quick. The first thing you do is place the rear axle into the cone cups. Tighten up the locking lever, which by the way, there is some adjustability if needed. Next, tighten the resistance unit up against the rear tire so that it touches lightly. Then, do four half turns or two full turns so that your tire doesn't slip. The next step is to tighten the left locking ring so that's tight and the bike should be securely fastened into your trainer at this time and ready to ride. Assembly of your Kurt Kinetic Rock and Roll Trainer is quick and easy. The first step is to lay everything out on the floor and to read your directions. Next, take your leg extenders and match left to left as shown. Then, insert the pins. Now do the exact same thing for the right leg extender and insert the pin. Take the A-frame and place it onto the base and then tighten each bolt the same amount going back and forth. Add the spacers as shown and tighten the A-frame down to the spacers. Once the A-frame is tightened all the way down to the spacers, loosen the bolts a very little bit and then remove the spacers from the A-frame. 
The next step is to take your resistance unit and using the carriage bolt, attach it to the trainer frame. Use the dome nut and attach the dome nut to the end of the carriage bolt. Next, take your L bolt and place the spring over the L bolt. Place the L bolt onto the frame and then slide it through the resistance unit. Next, take the knob and tighten it gently against the resistance unit. Simply take your 12 pound flywheel and place it over top of the six and a quarter pound flywheel. Next, take the washer and the knob and tighten it counterclockwise until there's a firm fit. Take a wrench and tighten up the dome bolt to make sure it's snug. At this point, you are ready to ride your rock and roll trainer. The first thing you do is place the rear axle into the cone cups. Tighten up the locking lever, which by the way, there is some adjustability if needed. Next, tighten the resistance unit up against the rear tire so that it touches lightly. Then, do four half turns or two full turns so that your tire doesn't slip. The next step is to tighten the left locking ring so that's tight and the bike should be securely fastened into your trainer at this time and ready to ride. Now that you've learned how to assemble your kinetic trainer, install your bike to your trainer, and even ride properly using the Spinnervals cycling DVDs, you're ready to get stronger, to ride faster, and to get in the best shape of your life. I hope that you enjoy the kinetic riding experience and take your fitness to the next level. Discover your functional threshold and your resulting training zones for greater performance. Join Coach Troy Jacobson and athletes from the New Jersey Cycling and Multisport community as he guides you through a tough and effective workout designed to test your fitness while pushing it up to the next level. Do this workout at least every four to six weeks in order to monitor your progress and get results. And don't forget to visit CoachTroy.com for more great information on training for performance.